Hello viewers, how are you? Welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will see how to identify the wattage of the resistor. As you know, the wattage is an important specification of a resistor. So, how to identify it? The resistance can be 1 foot watt, half watt, 1 watt, 2 watt, 3 watt, and above. How to identify? Now for 1 foot watt, the resistance or resistor will look like this. Again for half watt, it will look like this. Slightly increased in size. For 1 watt and for 2 watt, this is and this is for 3 watt. As we can see that in one fourth watt the size is less but in half watt the size is greater than the one fourth watt. Again the volume or size increased in one watt again in two watt the volume and size is increased again in three watt also the size is increased from the two watt. As the wattage increase, the size is also increase of the resistor. The resistance value of these two resistor are same, 100 ohm. We can measure it by color coding, but their wattage are different. As we can see, their size are different. So this is for 2 watt and this is for 1 watt. And the size increase as for higher watt the power dissipation will be larger so the size and volume is also increased with the watt now another fixed type of resistor used for higher wattage that is wire wound resistor now this is a wire wound resistor having two terminal and we can measure the resistance of this wire wound resistor by multimeter Now if we connect the two leads of the multimeter in these two terminal, the value is showing 2 ohm. Now there is another type of resistor used for higher wattage purpose that is metal oxide resistor. Now here this resistor is for 10 watt as it is written in this resistor. These are the carbon resistor, this is wire wound resistor and this is metal oxide resistor these two type of resistor used for higher wattage purpose now for variable resistor first come to potentiometer this is a potentiometer and here the resistance value is 20k as here it is written and the wattage is 1 watt written in the minute and this is another potentiometer of 10k and the wattage reading is 1 watt written in the minute after come to trimmer register these are all trimmer register these are also variable register used for lower wattage purpose so trimmer is widely used in electronic circuit most of the time the wattage reading of a trimmer is below 1 watt all the trimmer is used here is up to 1 watt we can find the wattage of a trimmer by using the code written on the body of a trimmer using this code we can download the data sheet and we can find the wattage of the trimmer and to find the value of the resistance maximum resistance of a trimmer we can consider a value written on the top suppose there is written 1 0 2 then the resistance value should be first two digit and uh, last digit will tell the number of 0 so here is 2 so total number of 0 will be 2 
so the resistance value is 1000 ohm which is 1 kilo ohm if there is written 1 0 4 again first two digit is and last digit is indicating number of zeros so here 100 kilo ohm on this streamer is half watt as I have found it from the data sheet now come to SMT register which is a fixed register this type of register is widely used nowadays in all type of electronic circuit for lower wattage purpose and to identify the wattage of the register we can consider the length and width of a SMD and you can find it from the data sheet no wattage is written on this SMDs on the top of the SMD a three digit is written suppose in one SMD here on the top written 150 which indicates its resistance value first two digit is simple indicate the value and the last digit indicate the number of zero which is zero here so resistance will be 15 ohm suppose if there is written 27 3 on SMD then the value will be 27 and last digit indicate the number of zero so into 10 to the power 3 which is 27 kilo ohm most of the time the voltage of the SMD is up to 1 it's maybe 1 point 1 by 16 watt 1 by 8 watt up to 1 watt you can find the voltage from the data sheet this is all about the voltage of the register both fixed and variable Thank you for watching the video. I am going to make others useful video. So for that please subscribe the channel so that I can make others video. And again thank you for watching and please give like if you like the video. If you need any modification or any suggestion please comment below to improve the videos. Thank you.